Alright. Hello everybody, my name is Valley Viking. And I'm Bubbly Bee. And today we have a snack, snack test. test. And all the way from Indonesia. Hey everybody, my name is the Valley Viking. excited <laughs> um, is it a place that we've heard about yeah we, we, we know about it it's one of the most populated places in the world um, right there with the US and China and India <laughs> do you know anything about Indonesia it's a bunch of islands right yeah that's, that's... in the Pacific right yep that's very true other than that, I mean, I'm looking forward to what we can learn and what we can taste. Mm. Let's get started. Welcome to Indonesia. This month's treats come from Indonesia. Located in Southeast Asia, Indonesia is an ancient island composed of 13,677 islands, which makes it the world's largest archipelago. 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 And with population 260 million people, Indonesia is also the fourth largest country in the world. Indonesia is a country filled with culture and history and famous for its breathtaking beaches and temples, one of which, the Pura Ulan Danu Breton, as shown on the front of the postcard. That's pretty nice, actually. That's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. As you explore your box this month, you will find some of the most popular and interesting treats from Indonesia. For example, you'll find scrumptious mini cakes that come individually wrapped and make excellent snacks to enjoy anytime you have a sweet tooth. You'll also find savory items like cheesy crackers and savory chips of taro and more. Fun fact, taro chips are healthier and many say <laughs> tastier than regular potato chips. Get ready to discover the best of what Indonesia has to offer. We hope you enjoy. Salamat makan. Or bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, let's get to know some Indonesian facts. Ooh, the population is 266,794,980. The language is Bahasa Indonesia. Landmass is 1,919,443 square kilometers. The capital is Jakarta. Climate is tropical. Government type is presidential republic. The GDP is 5,200. The national holiday is Waisak Day and also Hari Raya Puasa. That's pretty neat. The GDP on that is pretty low compared to a lot of the other places that we've read and we've seen. So that's pretty crazy. Um, especially coming from a population that's that big. Yeah. Um, and of course, it's very large islands uh, or island area. You know what I wondered? Like, never mind. <laughs> I was going to ask a dumb question. <laughs> <laughs> that I probably don't have the answer to. <laughs> I might as well because I've already said it. <laughs> it's out <laughs> in the open. Um how do you think they measure measure the land mass that's there? Do you think they take rulers and then they stretch it across the board? Definitely not. <laughs> Satellite imaging, maybe? Okay. That, that could make sense, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to the did you know. Okay. Indonesia is the only place in the world that you can see Komodo dragons in the wild. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> The world's largest flower, Rafflesia arnoldi, weighs up to 7 kilograms or 15 pounds and only grows on the island of Sumatra, Indonesia. The other name for that is the stinking corpse lily, and that's a really ugly looking plant. It's talked <laughs> about a lot on, on uh, Discovery Channel, 
And they say that you can smell that from like seven miles away. Oh, <laughs> that sounds so bad. <laughs> Boro Bodur Temple in central Java is the largest Buddhist temple in the world, decorated with 2,672 relief panels and 504 Buddha statues. Wow, that's crazy. Here I thought China was the one that like would have something like that, but nope, Indonesia. Java is the world's most populous island with a 2000 popula 2014 population of around 139 million people. That's crazy. Indonesia has the largest Muslim population in the world. Today, the recipe for the month is nasi goreng or Indonesian fried rice. And if you want to make that, here it is. Um, you should be able to see it. You just got to pause it and then you can make it. It's, it's probably kind of blurry. I'm so sorry about that. Um, I put it up there. I, I do that like every month <laughs> or every time we do a treat. You got to take a picture. I right? <laughs> know, <laughs> right? Because it's like all fuzzy. <laughs> Everything. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Whoa. Calm down. All right. So we're going to start off with our first snack, which... Me and Brianna were a little bit concerned about because there was a date issue on there. <laughs> um, I'm still going to try it because, I mean, it, I, I just will. Um, I'm not going to worry about Brianna. <laughs> <laughs> so, Our first one is called Gary Cheese Crackers. Now, the date on here says that it's from 2000, that it expires in 2021. I don't believe that, but I mean... We don't know. We're going to pop it open and see what it looks like. It smells like cheese. Mm -hmm. It stinks. <laughs> it smells like those cheese crackers with the cheese filling. Mm-hmm. So that's what they look like. I know that's kind of like a bad brightness. Sorry about that. This is a very white cracker. <laughs> um, these I think are actually covered in cheese. Hmm. Oh, oh yeah, it's got a coating of cheese on yeah. it. Yeah. Hence the reason why it's so white. Uh. You can't really see it, but uh, oh, there you go. There's kind of a contrast. That, that that's all the cheese that's on there, and then of course that's the the regular cracker on the other side. So it stinks. <laughs> oh, at least it's not stale. <laughs> mm. That's pretty tasty, actually. Mm. <laughs> Mmm, it kind of reminds me of like a cheesecake. Mmm. It's not bad for being expired. <laughs> Questionably expired. Questionably expired, yeah. <laughs> um, so it's got a sweet bottom with a salty um, like mixture in the, in the, uh, the cracker itself. The cheese is very sweet. I think it's actually condensed milk, um, and then they put uh, uh, like they they mix in like some kind of cheese in there. Cheese whiz, like mm -hmm. the cheese whiz. Um, they mix that together um, with like the condensed milk. It's very interesting. Did you want to try a bite or no? Sure. It's very interesting, and it's not bad. It, it tastes very good. Um, that's something I could snack on. Mm -hmm. I, I, I do enjoy this. So I'm very happy I tried that. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> That's what Wendy does all the time. Yeah. The next snack that we do have is going to be Taro Net. That, that's the, the name of the chip. And it is seaweed flavored. Um, and... We were reading up and doing a little bit of research on that, and we don't think that it's made from taro. We know uh, it's not made from taro. We know, because it's inside <laughs> the ingredients, there is no taro 
in there. <laughs> yeah, so I think it was just a mistake. Yeah, so, well, we're gonna find out what they taste like. Um, and they're seaweed flavored. And they're seaweed flavored. I'm not too afraid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Smells like a fish tank. <laughs> doesn't smell that bad. No, it doesn't smell that bad. <sighs> well, Alright. Any predictions? So it tastes like seaweed. <laughs> I can agree. <laughs> tastes like seaweed. Yeah, there's a bit more of a crunch there. Um, honestly, that's not really that bad of a chip. It's not bad. Um, it's more like a cracker, though. I can agree with that. Um, just like taste wise, but I mean, like, of course, the texture is more that of a chip. Like those, um, what are those? Those pop chips. Um, that's what they are, huh? Mm. Not that I've had them, but I've seen them. Mm. <laughs> so the air fried chips. Um, there's a lot more salt than there is seaweed on here. Yeah. Um, it's mild. Yeah. I mean, there there is a flavor that's there that is seaweed. It's definitely like it's like all the green specks are seaweed on there. <laughs> anyway, this is what it looks like. Maybe you can see a little bit more of the green on there. If it'll focus, probably not. Well, there is a lot of green on there, so. Okay. Not bad, though. Not bad. Call me some of that seaweed in your hair. Mm -hmm. It's good for gel. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. The next one that we're going to try is the layer cake. And they were kind enough to give us both one. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and try these out this is strawberry flavored cake la piece parisa strawberry 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 <laughs> sorry i was just looking at the ingredients this one sounds pretty good actually it's the soft cake yeah. Spongy. It, like, it, like angel cake. Soft. It felt very soft, yeah. Not bad. Ooh. Reminds me of a Twinkie almost. The smell, anyway. Which is a sponge cake. It is a sponge cake, huh? Pink. Mmm. Okay. It's very sweet. So they were very accurate on the description. It's good. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's very good, yes. Um, I think I actually might finish this. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's good. Mm. It is a little dry. <laughs> yeah, but not like... Like, I don't know. But there's still like... Since there's still like a, a moisture that's kind of mm. retained... Okay. in it so but yeah that was my thought it's dry but i'm like but it's not but i think it's because it's like because it's a sponge cake you know it's porous i i think another thing that could have been they they glazed it over with something so that's and, why but i mean that's typically what you do with a sponge cake though right mm -hmm. you glaze it you glaze it with something so like when i think of those um those the dessert shells, right? Those are really dry, but you put like the strawberries and the that that oh, strawberry glaze on there. You're talking about the angel cakes themselves, right? Um, just what is it? Strawberry shortcake. That's yeah, what I'm the, thinking the of. Angel cakes. Yeah. So that yeah, you use that. That that's okay. Makes sense. <laughs> um, so that you have some context, my wife has been a baker for a while, uh, or she was. And she knows a lot about bakery stuff. 
I have a little bit of knowledge. Well, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm not an expert or anything, but I have a little bit of knowledge. <laughs> there we go. Good. Good. So, so this way you can have some <laughs> confidence. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it was pretty good. I like that one. Move in. Um, I was uh, when I first seen this, I didn't think that uh, it was going to be that great. But you know what it reminds me of? The purulines. That's what it sounded like to me when I read the description. Mm. So, and and uh, let me show you what they look like. Um, so the the purulines are the the larger version of these. At least my my assumption is that, that that's what they are. Um, and these are just snack size. <laughs> More dust than anything. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. That's what it looks like. Like a dog treat. <laughs> you don't make anything sound appetizing. <laughs> it smells delicious. It, it does smell delicious. Yes, I can agree with that. Um, it's a very visual um, looking piece. And that, the only reason I, I say that it looks like a dog treat is because I think that they have to look visually appealing because we won't taste them and we have to select it for our dogs. So <laughs> hmm. um, they have to make it visually appealing to us to give to our dogs. Um, so yes, this, this looks very nice. It also has a shape of a bow, like one that you can wear around your neck. Okay, yeah. roughly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kind of looks like our couch pillows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's another good one. Yeah, <laughs> they're just a squished. <laughs> mm. Mm. Not as chocolatey. Definitely not as chocolatey. Um, Chocolate flavored filling. Not yeah. a chocolate filling, but a chocolate flavored filling. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah, it, it does a pretty good job of, uh, what do you call that, um, imitating the flavor of, of chocolate. Yeah. Um, but it is not chocolate. <laughs> um, my mind was really racking to find out what that flavor was. It had a very... Um, I don't, I don't know how to say, say this correctly because I, I I usually say high or deep for the flavoring. This, okay. yeah. This, uh, to me, this went through my nose and it, it had a very high um, note in there of flavor for the chocolate. It mm. tasted kind of chemically. I guess that's that's what I'm getting at. Mm. Not bad. It's not bad. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I would not eat these again though. <laughs> All right. Honestly, I was hoping these ones were going to taste the best out of all of them, and I wanted to end on a good note. Um, but judging by that last one, I don't know if I feel like that's going to happen. <laughs> There's really no smell there. <laughs> that's a cat bud. <laughs> um, smells like cardboard. You know what these look like? <laughs> the little cereal Oreo O's. <laughs> um, the Oreos didn't that didn't get the cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I can't say that I'm I'm sad. <laughs> I don't enjoy the cream so much in Oreos. I'm sorry, I said it. <laughs> well, I mean, it is made out of fat, so it's understandable, <laughs> or lard, I should say. All right. I don't know that. You didn't know that? Well, now you do. Okay. That's not a cookie. I am back at this country. Tastes like an Oreo. I'm not mad at it. Yeah. That's the outside cookie of an Oreo. So crispy. That's a better term. Um, and it reminds me of a cracker. Um, oh, okay, I like it. That's good. That's that's pretty pretty all right. Um, honestly. 
I don't know if I'd really care for them too much. Well, you're going to enjoy more anyways. <laughs> mm. I'm happy. Go with some tea or coffee. Mm. Mm -hmm. You right. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be very tasty to dip it something into. Yeah, that was. Those were pretty good snacks. Um, there was nothing at fault there that there were. I mean, well, the seaweed was different, but it wasn't terrible. <laughs> um, so rankings. What do you think would go number one? Number one. Um, honestly, it's gosh, probably the sponge cakes. The sponge cakes were really tasty. Yeah, I'd say that'd be number one for me. Um, but then again, those crackers. I, I honestly think the crackers were number one for me. The the cheese crackers, the expired cheese crackers. <laughs> 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 the expired cheese crackers. I, I don't know. Um, but they, they were really tasty for me. That would be my number one. Um, if I can get them up to date, that'd probably be even better. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Number two. Number two would be the cheese cheese crackers, only because I forgot about them. So, so <laughs> not super memorable, but bringing my thoughts back to them, like, oh yeah, those are those were good. And mine is the opposite of that. There's it's the cakes. So that those would that's vice versa. I mean, she might have had the same idea. We both like the crackers, and we both like the cakes. They were mm. both very delicious. They would both beat our number ones, I think, mm. of this whole box. Um, the middle ones for me, well, actually for her, she might have a different idea, but, um, the chocolate wafer bites and the cookies were kind of in the same area for me. I didn't really care for them too much. Mm. Uh, number three for me would have been the, the, the cookies, the crispy cookies. Mm. And, um, so I guess if I had to choose a number three, um, it'd probably be the cookies. Yeah. And your number four? Number four would be the, the bites. Yeah. And the bites for the, me too. The chocolate the chocolate flavored feeling bites. <laughs> and, and then the strangest and also in last place is the seaweed. Yeah, the taro the taro nets. Mm -hmm. They had a flavor of potato and like uh very saltiness to them, but then there's a hint of seaweed. I I don't know. Tastes more like a rice cracker to me, so mm. Yeah, it was not, uh, it's not going to be my go-to. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, I wish I was a fan of the sea, but I'm not. Um, and like I told Brianna, I really want to like get better at eating like things from the sea, but I don't know if I can. It's just, it, it tastes too much like the sea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just lapping up ocean water, aren't you? <laughs> I guess so, huh? <laughs> Bathing in it. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> that was pretty much the end of the snack test, and it was a very delicious bunch that we had. Um, even with the seaweed being a little off, it still was really good um, mm. compared to most of the stuff that I have had. Um, now, Brian has been on here several times. Which one do you think this would be like one of your top? favorite ones that you had um i say there was i can't say that i didn't like any of these so um i got some kind of enjoyment from all the snacks so i'd say this is probably up there it's pretty way up there okay well that's good yeah. <laughs> um surprisingly i think this might be one of my favoriteest ones that we've had even the mexican snack one that one was very good but i feel like i have access to that <laughs> like i could get that anywhere um and it was very commonplace for me um had that not been the case i probably would have said that was my favorite one but mm -hmm. um yeah i think this is my favorite one <laughs> um all right well thank you so much for watching and thank you for just keeping up with my my channel and and visiting um thank you brianna for joining me today mm -hmm. <laughs> and and um i hope that you all can have fun <laughs> i know i will be having fun when i edit this um you can find me 
on several different places down in the description down below. Make sure to read that and like, comment, and subscribe. Please, that would be awesome. And we'll see you in the next video. I'll probably see you tonight <laughs> on, on a vlog. So have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Don't lose it, don't let confuse it Only then you'll be gone